I have a question. Ecosystems can be a difficult topic to understand non-living things. This biome is called desert. We are definitely in a tropical rainforest. This biome is called tundra. So what is an ecosystem? Welcome to Alex Kids Fun! Today we have a very interesting topic for you. It's ecosystems. Do you like nature and animals? Stay tuned to see all of that in the ecosystems. Ecosystems can be a difficult topic to understand because there are so many all around the world, each one different from the others. But don't worry guys, we'll help you understand. So what is an ecosystem? An ecosystem is a group of living and non-living things working and interacting together in a specific environment. I have a question. What are non-living things and living things? Non-living things are things like rocks, soil, water, dirt. They don't live or eat. Things that are living are things like plants, animals like foxes, worms, trees, and stuff like that. You get it guys, right? All living things depend on non-living things like sunlight, soil, water, climate, temperature, and all of that. Humans too, me and you, are part of the ecosystem too. So non-living things and living things work together to make e ecosystems. Please don't forget to subscribe. We want to learn with you. Ecosystems can be huge, as big as an Amazon rainforest, or tiny, as small as a puddle in your backyard. The sizes of an ecosystem can be broken down into three basic categories. The smallest is a micro ecosystem. That would be something like a puddle or under a rock. The next size, medium, is a meso ecosystem. It is something like a lake. And the third size, the largest, is a biome. It's like a whole rainforest or something. And it will contain lots of micro and meso ecosystems. What type of ecosystems can you think of? Today, we will show you a few of them. Each living thing in an ecosystem has a role to play as a producer, a consumer, or a decomposer. Green plants are producers. Animals and humans are consumers. They eat or consume plants or other animals. Bacteria and other living things that cause decay are decomposers. The way that producers, consumers, and decomposers provide nutrients for one another is called a food chain. Biomes are a collection of ecosystems that have similar characteristics. Where are we? Sand, cactuses, super prickly cactuses, and even hotter sand! Whew. Looks like we are in the desert ecosystem. Some places on Earth hardly ever get rain. Mountains block the wind that brings rain clouds and the land is dry. This biome is called desert. Most deserts are hot. During the day, the, the sun scorches the land. It may reach 50 Celsius in the shade. Then, at night, the temperature drops close to freezing. Desert plants have adapted to these harsh conditions. Some have long water seeking roots. Others, such as cacti, store water in their stems and roots. Their sharp needles keep animals from getting too much of this water. To avoid the heat, most desert animals sleep during the day. 
at night, they come out and look for food. Some desert animals, such as camels, can store water in their bodies. Others, like burrowing owls, get liquid from the animals they eat. The elf owl will sometimes live inside a cactus during the day and then come out at night to hunt. The thorny devil in Australia sits outside and lets dew collect on its body. Its skin sucks the moisture to its mouth. Wow, these are some awesome plants and animals. Hmm, which ecosystem comes to my mind? Oh, I have an idea. Wow, it's beautiful here. <gasps> hey, parrots! Tropical fruits! We must be in a rainforest. And some rain. Quick, get the umbrella up. Whew. We are definitely in a tropical rainforest ecosystem. Let's learn about it! Near the equator, the average temperature is near 25 Celsius year round. It rains all the time. This is where you will find tropical rainforests. The Amazon rainforest in South America is the world's largest. Others can be found in Central America, Asia, Africa, and Australia. Tropical rainforests have millions of different plants and animals. They cover just 6% of the land on the planet. Yet, they support more than half the Earth's plant and animal species. What other ecosystem comes into my mind? Let's see what's next. I got an idea. Where are we? It's so cold. Ooh, I think we're in a tundra ecosystem. Oh, some jackets. Let's put them on. Oh, good fluffy. Ooh, that's better. Wow, it's so beautiful, but cold. Ooh. So, we're in a tundra ecosystem. I think we should learn about one. At the top of the world, the weather is very cold. This biome is called tundra. Strong cold winds sweep across the flat tundra. The top layer of soil freezes in winter and thaws in the summer. Below that is a layer called permafrost. The soil is frozen all year round. Trees cannot grow in the tundra. Their roots cannot get past the permafrost. Instead, tundra regions grow grasses, lichens, and mosses. Tundra animals include wolves, caribou, polar bears, voles, and snowy owls. Few people live on the tundra, but those who do need warmth. There is so many biomes and ecosystems in the world, guys. And you are part of the one you live in, too. Please like and subscribe. Bye! Bye.